Hello guys and welcome to new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to set up your level so that it gets a little bit more atmospheric. So for example you have an ice level with the basic lightning then it doesn't look like an ice level because there's, there's too few of blueness. Let's say it like that. And yeah, now we put some, yeah, some more color into your level to get a better ambience of the level. So I will do that with this room here. It should be a ice refrigerator. Let's say it like that, yeah. And yeah, just place your BSP brush where you want it or when you want the room. So I place it here. Then go to add volumes and here choose post proceed volume. Okay, now move back the BSP and select the post proceed volume. F4 and now we have the properties here. There are many 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 properties but I just describe you let's say three of them. And yeah, let's start. Here at the enable DOV you can enable the blur effect of your level. So I will show it to you. Click on to the enable this function and now you see there's a little bit blur in the distance. To get it more blurry, let's say it like that, you have to go down here to the DOV blur kernel size, and here you can choose any, any, yeah, any blur you like, let's say it like that. So, for example, I will put in 60 blur, and then it gets very, very blurry. And here at the DOV focus inner radius, you can choose the radius. So now it's at 2000, so we see the blur in like a distance of 2000 and now we, let, we can put this to 400 and then it's directly in front of us I will click play from here now now you see it's in front of us of us and when you have so many blur you also see the the non blurry zones let's say it like that here here the blur stops okay you just have to experiment yeah to do some experiments on these functions, but I won't do it now. I just so I just show how I do that. Okay, now let's go to the scene decoration. Here you can choose if you want a if you want more black or white or more colorful. For example, when we put in one, it's a black and white level. When we put in 0.5, oh, 0.5. It's not so black, but a little bit black. So here you can choose the black or white level. Okay, now we go down to the scene highlights, to the scene midtones, and to the scene shadows. These functions are the main functions that I show you today. So at the scene highlights, you can choose the the basic color. Let's say it like that. For example, we can type in um, 58, let's say. Then it gets more blue. Say we type in 38. Okay. Then here you can choose 33 or for example 12. Yeah. No. And yeah. Let's say 38. Okay. Here see mid tones you can choose the decent tones. So the the more precise uh, I don't know the English word, but more pre yeah. Say more yeah, the German was it precise. So we can choose a better color. So let's type in 0.6. And yeah, you see what happens. Let's put it this to zero. Yeah, to one. Here at scene shadows, you can adjust the color of your shadows. So for example, you can put in 0.3 and 0.3 and 0.3. Then you get a very scary atmosphere. Like that. You see, it's very scary in here, and you shouldn't put in some very high or low numbers because this don't look very well. So yeah. And another good function of this is that here. Play from here. When you go outside the volume, it changes the light to the normal. Yeah, to the normal. And when you go in. Boom, you're back in the horror scene, let's say it like that. Go out. Yeah. 
and, and to get this function away, just delete the post proceed volume. Now we see everything is at the beginning. So yeah, that's how to change the color of your level and how to do a mo more atmospheric feeling of your level. So you saw that I have added a little bit of blue and it it feels much more, let's say, colder. Or or you can also choose, yeah, you can also say a little bit warmer or hot. You can change everything in here. And yeah, that's how to change the colors. And yeah, until next time.